I'm Justin from Landmark. Today we're going to go over the setup of the Surefire Quick Draw 3000 uh, to apply a recipe uh, to make a mix of chemicals with water to load a sprayer. So we're going to start here with our run page. Um, we're using an iPad today, uh, but it's the same screen that's on the controller inside the, the Quick Draw. So, to begin with, I'm going to go to my menu and I'm going to choose job and then I'm going to choose the recipe I want to use. So I'm going to select up here at the top. I've got nine different recipes to choose from. Um, in this case today, I'm going to use demo January 21, but I could make a new recipe down here at the bottom if I chose to, but we'll go with demo January 21. We'll hit select. That brings me back to this page. Um, the, one of the products I'm using here is a Mad Dog 5.4. Uh, that's a glyphosate product. If I ran out of that product and I wanted to switch to a different glyphosate, I would just go in there, change it out, and, uh, and keep my documentation correct that way. In this case, we've, we're applying 32 fluid ounces per acre of Mad Dog. And our tote number three is detonate and we're gonna do 10 ounces per acre. And we're gonna do two manual products, a finesse at a half a dry ounce an acre, and a Surfact 820 at a quart per hundred um, through, the, through the system. Um, up here at the top, we're calculation mode, we're set up for volume and application rate. So I'm gonna load an 800 gallon load at a 10 gallons per acre rate. I can also change that to, if I know I've got so many acres left in a field, I can select the acres and application as well. And at that point you can change your acres to, maybe I've got 50 acres left and it'll adjust all of those so that it applies the right rate and loads the right amount of chemical. When we did that, it starts this warning. If I select that warning, it's gonna tell me that my preload is too large for the back size. So I'm gonna go back to that page and we're gonna adjust that. So right now I'm set at a 250 gallon preload, go back to jobs. So right now I'm at 250, I'm gonna change that to a 50 and see if that makes it better. So it did, it corrected that and it's okay now. Notice that it changed from a 20 gallons at our at our uh, 80 gallons or 800 gallons and 80 acre rate to now it's 12 and a half. So it adjusted all those and adjusted your detonate, your finesse and your surfactant as well. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna go back to our total volume here for our example. We're gonna do an 800 gallon load and I wanna load 250 gallons of water to begin with And we're doing a product rinse. We're rinsing three seconds between products. And the final rinse, it rinses 10 seconds after the last product is loaded. So once we've done that, we can also come down here and select our field and weather. Uh, right now, today, we've got our growers loaded as landmark. The farm is demo, the operator's woody. The crop is wheat. The field is January 21. Uh, machine is an R4045. We're going after weeds. We can put in our wind speed and direction so we're out of the north at five miles an hour. And it's 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to run my boom 30 inches off the ground. Okay, so I can hit run. It takes me to this screen. So on this screen, um, you're going to see a picture of your water tank, your pump, um, and your totes are over here. It tells you what your products are that are going to come through the tote. So my Mad Dog is going to be number one. Um, at, it's going to load 20 gallons of that product. The detonate is going to be product number three. This is my load order that I set up in that, in that last page. So it's going to be loaded number uh, Well, actually, that's tote number one and detonates tote number three. 
the load order is set up in the recipe page. Uh, in this case, it's going to load the dry flowable first, then it's going to load the mad dog, the detonate, and then the surfactant last. Uh, again, we're going to do an 800 gallon load, and uh, um, all we've got to do is start the motor on the trailer, hit start here, and it'll go through the process, and we'll watch it go through and do that. So to begin loading the sprayer, you go to your controller, you hit the start button, uh, that opens the valve, that that uh, then starts flowing water to the pump and into the into the sprayer. You can see the amounts increase at the top. Uh, we're going to head up to 200 gallons, 250 gallons, which is our preload. Then it's going to start to load our manual product first. Tells us to put 40 ounces in. You pour it in the machine. You add the actual amount into your display until when you're finished. At that point, it goes to your second product. In this case, is Mad Dog. Uh, we're shooting for 20 gallons, but we're doing a rinse, so it's going to leave us short uh, just of the amount that it knows it's in the hose from the tote to the quick draw. So you'll notice this one leaves it short. It's flown about 20 gallon a minute of the Mad Dog into the into the system. You can see it counting up the gallons as it goes. Uh, you notice down there in the bottom right that the toad is now named Mad Dog 5.4. Um, and you, the blue numbers are the product that's added to the sprayer. And notice that when the product's flowing, the valves turn green. And the, the lines that, that are active are, are blue. Once it finishes loaded in the mount there, it shuts off and it switches to the detonate. So again, it shorted us on the Mad Dog because we're gonna rinse those lines and add in the rest of the 20 gallons at that point. Detonate, it's gonna shoot to stop at the 6.3 gallons. Now we're gonna add our surfactant as our fourth product. Tells us to add two gallons. So you pour that in the machine, you put in the actual amount, hit finished. And now it's gonna go ahead and load some more water before we start to rinse our um, hose to our tote. So here we're gonna rinse our Mad Dog valve. So we're gonna select it. It's opening that valve, I'm gonna go around uh, to the side of the machine here. Now we're going to come around to the tote. We'll shut the valve off. We're going to uncouple the, the hose to the tote and suck the product out of that hose. Always wear your gloves when you're doing this. We'll take the hose up to the product rinse valve, put it on, open the valve. Water will then, rinse water will then flow through that hose to purge it. You can see that it actual our actual product now equals 20 gallons and the 16 and a half gallons is the rinse volume that went through that hose uh, while we were flowing rinse water through it when it was hooked to the side of that unit. Now we'll fit finished and it'll go ahead and load the remainder of our water uh, to fill the sprayer uh, clear to the 800 gallon batch level. So we ended up with 799.9 gallons uh, and I'm all the chemical we put in 20 gallons of the 20 gallons we wanted and we got 6.2 when we wanted 6.3 gallons of detonate so it was really really close to that and then these two manual products we loaded manually through the eductor on the sprayer if you have more questions on the surefire quick draw 3000 please contact your local cts we can also line up a demo for you on your own farm